What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. And before we even start riding around the track properly, I do just want to say that I've completely stolen this video idea by the way. Uh, I saw a little funny clip posted by a G-Dub the other day of him riding this uh, Polini 135 around a Supercross track in track they are. And I thought it'd be a fun idea just to put it to a test. So thank you very much G-Dub for the inspiration for this video. Uh, massive shout out to him and that uh, video will be in the description of this one. Um, I've, I've not ridden this on dirt yet so i'm very interested to see how it goes i mean look at the leg animations he's getting it nice and high up out there that this should be good fun that now what i'm thinking in my head is i'm wondering if i'm even going to be able to make it oh wrong button it's not a good start i'm wondering if i'm even going to make it up some of these hills i mean we'll find out oh my i didn't expect it to be this far straight off the rip jesus christ i'm off the back of it oh god oh what's the suspension like suspension's interesting that should be fine so right now um the dev build that i'm playing on is actually uh, i wouldn't say controversy but there's a little bit of a uh, investigation at the moment because uh, the devs changed something in regards to how the wheelies work and in turn i, I can see under the map there we go in turn it's kind of affected the way that the bike handles everything else like the bike is so so fast right now so I suppose it's what better time to try out this uh, little, let's just call it a moped, try out the uh, the moped than, than right now. Uh, let's get over to the bike. Do, 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 do. Let's pick her back up. There we go. Let's get going again. Oh, is that all you get? Oh, lovely stuff. I didn't even have to kick it over. Sweet. Right. Carrying on. Uh, so yeah, there's a little bit of uh, changes going on at the moment. So the game feels very, very fast. So don't worry. I've not just suddenly got good overnight. The game is uh, going through some other dev changes. Oh my god. I'm sorry, that stepped out so nice. Hang on, I need to get... Oh, this is exciting. Um, this is very exciting. I need to get to this uh, first big jump on the track. Come on, let's, uh, let's ride our way around. Oh, that's weird. If I... Hang on, I'm just experimenting with my, my stick. So if I lean to the right... Well, that makes sense. Oh, the leaning's really strange. I swear sometimes it feels it feels inverted. Oh, well. Anyway, let's see let's see what we can do. Throwing a sideways. <laughs> oh, what about this one? Come on. Off the back, off the back. Scrub a dub dub. Oh, tossing her sideways. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know how to like lean. I don't know whether to wait the outside peg like I usually do or lean into the corner with it. We try a little bit of first person. I imagine this is going to go horribly. Oh, what's the first person camera like? Here we go. Here we go. Rip, rip. Oh, it's gone very, very quiet. Oh, it's much nicer, much more peaceful. Ain't got to turn my headset down anymore. Uh, so I've noticed uh, in the last video that I've done on track they are someone mentioned how gross the so that left finger that you can see on the clutch someone mentioned how gross that looks just like uh no, it just looks very very strange it's like a like a claw um but don't worry there are talks at the moment of getting a, a brand new rider model because I know that the model that we've got in the game at the moment it's really meant for road bikes you know it's not meant for motocross at all the guys is a bit on the lanky side doesn't uh, fit some of the bikes too well uh, they're looking at getting an entirely new rider model built from scratch purely for the mx side of things so don't you worry about that all good things come to those who wait and it's, it's really nice there's been lots of moving parts recently on this game on the last few weeks and it's nice that people are commenting on the videos and just watching the videos they are finally seeing all of the potential that they keep talking about finally come into life which i absolutely love it's so so good and my bike's still really quiet Oh, okay, that's nice. It's just uh, carrying on with the helmet, helmet cam volume. Oh, slow down. The brakes are absolutely shit. Oh my god, it just doesn't stop. Okay, good to know. Right, I need to slow her down on the heels a bit more. Let's pick her up. Second gear. Over this. I mean, we've we're not even completed a lap yet. That's embarrassing. Last lap time, five minutes. Lovely stuff. Jesus, taking my time, haven't I? I I've also noticed in the track they are seeing right now. We're starting to uh, get a few of the bike life boys coming over. And I have to say, shame on you. You couldn't have picked an easier game. Like This game is so easy to wheelie on compared to MXY. You should just lean back and accelerate. And it's literally impossible to go too far. Like, look how easy this is. And that's me. I don't I don't bike life ever. Uh, go on, go go play a game that requires a little bit more skill. God damn it. Oh, land, land, land. And break, 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 break. And lean her over. Yeah, I'm still not sure whether I should lean into the corner or away from it. Because it's... It's not a motocross bike, let's be honest. There's no point. But, oh! <laughs> Actually, I've got an idea. I might be able to try... I can try and transfer it to the top of this. Rip! 
No. Oh, ejecto seat all cut. Gee. Okay. I'm probably going to cut here because I'm going to be rolling down this hill for about five minutes. Come back. Please. Please. Stop. Oh, thank God. Okay. Usually when that happens, I just have to wait for the bike to get to the very, very bottom and then wait for it. But happy days. The moped is, uh, I won't lie, kind of barking. I, I fully expected me to just be crawling up some of these hills in first gear. So it's nice to see that the bike actually does work. I I'm not sure if they've put much... Uh, Put an effort into how this handles the dirt, but they they slapped on some uh, some knobby tires and let's have a go. Let's have a little bit of fun. Oh, come on, stay on track, stay on track. Lovely stuff. Now I won't lie to you boys. You watching this video, you are probably watching me play an incredibly outdated version of the game, at least in terms of dev fit builds, because I'm probably away right now um, visiting my girlfriend over the Christmas period. I'm, I'm literally away from home for just over a week. Um, so I've recorded this well, well in advance. Like it's the it's the sixth of December for me right now. You're probably seeing this around the thirteenth, give or take a day or two. So just take that with a pinch of salt. What you're seeing might not be the most up to date stuff, but either way, I thought this would be a good old laugh to hop on and try and rag around. And it gets around Glen Helen just fine. I'm tempted to try out, you know, that DLC Supercross track that I downloaded and played not that long ago. I wonder how it would cope around there. Okay, not the best of starts. I have spawned off of the bike, but shouldn't be too bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, give us some sauce. Give us some sauce. Can I pick the bike up, please? Um, Pretty please? Ah! Oh! So, unfortunately, the custom SX track was a little bit bugged. Uh, it kept spawning me off the bike, and then when I would go to pick it up, it would just wouldn't pick it up off the ground. It's like my guy's got the most feeble arms on on planet earth but we're gonna do the oh the indie sx track that comes with the game and i've not played this track in the longest time so this should be good fun and i just really want to try and get a solid lap in but i think that is the biggest thing i can take away from this let's walk the bike backwards walk it forwards hop on him there we go it looks like they've made some slight changes to this track actually since last time i played it um i mean first of all the bows are a little bit smaller which is nice the bows before i mean they're big still but the bows before they were like it's like three, three blocks higher previously. Let's uh, see how this goes. Let's see how this handles the whoops. Oh, lovely. Jesus. Okay, I didn't expect it to go that smoothly. This is going a little bit a little bit too well. I'm waiting for something absolutely horrendous to happen. But yeah, so far so good. Oh, this berm's still the same. Still a little bit on the steep side. There we go. Waiting the outside peg. Lovely. Let's go. Oh, triple and triple again. Oh, um, hello game. <laughs> Literally. It just came to a dead stop. Oh god, you can tell that this is uh this isn't designed to be played in this way, but I'm glad I've done it. It's a little a little bit of a little bit of a giggle. And so far it definitely seemed to handle Glen Helen a little bit better than it's uh a little bit better than it's handling this. I keep accidentally putting it into bloody neutral rather than lifting down into first gear. Go so first gear. Get your leg out. There we go. Lean off the back. Oh I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. White club. <clears throat> and we go again. You saw nothing. Nothing at all happened just there. It was a nice, normal track re-entry. No issues whatsoever. Let's try and get out of the bloody bells. Come on, Linz, what are you doing? Embarrassing myself right now. Let's try and get a little bit of a flow go. So... Let's try and get a little bit of a flow going. As I was saying, let's get a nice little triple, triple into the corner. Oh, look at that flowing around the track. I just, I need to try and be really smooth and precise. I need to try and not go too fast. I'm gonna step over that, triple into the corner, shift her down into second, up to third. We don't need fourth gear at all. Fourth is an obsolete gear. Bang it down. On the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. Yeah, the, the brakes on this bike, they are so weak. They do absolutely nothing. Let's brake nice and early through the whoops. There we go. Now, I'm not sure, actually. I said earlier that they've made a few changes to this track. I don't know if it's just the bells that they've changed, because everything else feels very similar. I, I honestly think it's just where the game's improved so much that the tracks are easier to ride. I remember trying to ride this before on the, uh, the 450, like a few months back and just really struggling to get any sort of flow going. I felt like every time your bike would hit the ground, it would basically come to a stop. It happens every now and then still, as a little bit of a bug, but nothing like what it used to be like. like this game was 
Come on, leaps and bounds. It's so cool to see. <laughs> As such a goony whip, I was staying sat down while doing it. It's so hilarious. I don't know why that that just tickles me. I find that so amusing. Let's get up on, lean up on the front, off the back again. Slam on the brakes. Up down in the corner. Nice little double. Oh, stretch out the table. Barely got onto it. No way, I'm doubling out of that. That is uh, far above my skill level. Right, let's get a little bit of... Oh, the swag! Jesus Christ! Oh, imagine if I brought that back. That would have been absolutely filthy. Should I just stop talking? Because I swear every time I open my mouth, I absolutely wad myself. Right, let's try and get a clean lap. Let's see how it goes. What's the worst that can happen other than being in fourth gear rather than second or third? So, I don't... I, t I doubt anybody's on the leaderboards for this, but I don't think my lap times actually count at the moment where, you, where I'm playing dev builds. Uh, I think it's only if you're playing the actual full releases that you get your own leaderboards. I can imagine it would be uh, a little bit cheating otherwise. Let's say a build releases and like the bike's double in power. Obviously, it's never going to happen, but just as an example. And I go and demolish all of the uh, leaderboard lap times. That'd be quite funny. I did see uh, Wyndham posted a video the other day of him getting a world record lap, which is quite cool. It's nice to see all of the other guys actually experiment with this game a little bit and giving it the love it deserves. Now, I don't say this lightly. I generally think... Uh, some of the uh, the OG games could be in a little bit of trouble if uh, if this game carries carries on developing the way it is. Now I don't want to give like a time frame, but I reckon another year, maybe another two years. If things generally carry on at the same pace that they're moving at now, then we could be looking at a new. I'm gonna say industry leader because the milestone games, unfortunately, I think are always gonna be in the lead. I know that the guys watching this would probably completely disagree with that, saying that Seymour Bikes is on top right now. Uh, but unfortunately, in terms of the casual gamer, that would be the case, and they are the ones that buy a majority of the games. Otherwise, they wouldn't keep making the same shit year on year. But us sim guys, we get to uh, we get to enjoy games like this, and I'm really, really happy about it. Uh, for the longest time, I just find Microsoft games getting a little bit stale. So having something like this is very, very refreshing, and just being able to do silly things like this and have it work is so, so nice. I'm just noticing... I feel like it ejects me over the bars when I change gear, like just as I take off or just on the lip of a jump. So I'm going to avoid doing that for the time being. We try and get, let's get a first person lap into in the video. I think, I think that's the way to go. Let's go up. Right, I'm not going to change gear on the face of these jumps. Oh, sugar. Oh my God. I reckon I could have quadded that if I gave it a little bit of a, a preload there. That was just normal, normal speed. It didn't do anything weird. It's a very little detail, but I love how this uh, this this game has a working what do you call it? Like a working dash, working display. You guys can't see it for sure. I mean, I can barely see it because it's uh, shaking all over the place. And I know YouTube will do it very dirty, but I mean, it looks good from uh, for where I'm sat. On the brakes. Oh god. Oh, I thought I was going over the bars then. Got the entrance that all wrong. Here we go off the back. Sitting down through the whoops. That's how you do it. And again, turning around. No, don't hit the bell. Don't hit the bell. Stay away. Oh, stretch it. All right, we're still going. We're still going. Got this. I've been sat down this entire lap. I've not let go of my right analog stick. My sit down button is to hold down on the right stick. I've not got it as like a, a toggle. But you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Last corner. Here we go. Up. Same on the brakes. Round to the left. Up and over. Oh, that wasn't even my best lap. Never mind. I had done a lap without crashing. Right, we're going again. I want one more. I want to see if I can beat it. If I wad myself on this lap... So be it. I'm going to call it there. But right in the bales. And we're done. Oh, God. Well, I think I'm going to end it there. That is a whole lot of fun. Um, if if you have the game, give it a go. Because I would highly recommend that. That is really, really funny. Uh, if you haven't got the game, go check it out. It's on Steam. Now, I have been told that as the game develops further and further, and obviously you get full on... I mean, what multiplayer works right now, but as, as it progresses and gets better and better, I've been told that the price of the game will go up over time as you get more and more features, which is understandable. Um, so if you are ever going to get it, now's the best time to do so. And I'm going to love you and leave you. I've thoroughly enjoyed that. Thank you again, G-Dub, for the, uh, the inspiration for this one. I greatly appreciate it. And catch you in the next video. Goodbye. Peace. See ya. Adios. One of them make it, I guess, you know I live with the criticisms. People are giving up, beginning to put it upon the pedestal. A pen for your thoughts, but I never asked for change. My work ethic's ridiculous, and yours is not the same. I swear to God that I wrote it all with a pure intention. The truest testament with no excessive false aesthetics. You couldn't imagine a fathom the effort I'm exuding. My heart is sold in the ship, and yet they forced me to prove it.